in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My boat of life sails on a troubled sea. Ever there's a wind in my sails. But I have for our good night message on this Thursday, the 12th of January 2023. Broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this strengthening and inspiring message entitled Trouble versus Fearless Living. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm, make the sun. Again. I know the master of the On Sunday when we celebrated the Feast of Epiphany, I was giving you the lessons drawn from the Magi in the Feast of Epiphany of our Lord. I couldn't exhaust everything because I didn't want the good night message to be too long for you to give up listening to it. And so I want to stretch the good night message of last Sunday, showing how much more we can learn from the Magi. The Magi encountered serious trouble. Instead of Jerusalem rejoicing at their search, a cloud of anxiety and foreboding gripped the city from the palace to the shanty. King Herod was troubled and all of Jerusalem with him. How nice it would be if we could so journey through this world trouble-free. But it is just not going to happen. We can expect heartaches and disappointments in life. And maybe many of us have already experienced that during this Christmas period. Some of us have experienced brokenness, troubled hearts. Some of us don't even know where to begin from in taking care of the needs for January, in taking care of what is needed for our children. And maybe we have more broken families now. Trouble is part of our lives. When we expect trouble, we keep the devil from isolating us by reminding us that others are caught to endure the same trouble and hardships. This empowers us to hold on and persevere. We shouldn't say, why me? Most of the time we suffer more in our troubles because we think this brokenness, this trouble, this confusion in our lives is only about us. We don't know there are many others who are going through the same. The whole Jerusalem was troubled. The whole land of peace was in confusion at the birth of Christ. I don't know what you are going through, but I want to let you know you are not the only one. We all have a share of trouble, but we move on. We live fearlessly despite what is happening around us. When we realize that God is bigger than our problems, it should enable us to live without fear. But to remain fearless in a dangerous world, we must habitually eliminate fear from our lives. The Magi teach us that we can live without fear. In a dream, God told them to go home another way and not return to the murderous King Herod who planned to kill Jesus. If God is that involved in the details of our lives so that he warns us in our dreams, it should reassure us that he orders our steps as well, protecting us from dangers, sin and unseen. And 2023 will be different because we are going to view things from this light, knowing that God is having our details and that he is going to see us through to the end of our lives. God is greater than any enemy that waits behind the mist of the future. By his might, our best days beckon. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father.